In this video, I want to go over some basics in Illustrator, and I'm going to do so by recreating a kente cloth pattern. So I have here an image of a kente cloth pattern, and I was just going to recreate uh, one of the squares here, uh, and maybe change the colors a little bit. So I'm going to recreate this triangular pattern here. And I have a couple of different ways that I can do this, but basically I want to use basic shapes, change the fill and uh, the stroke colors, and then create this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and find my shapes in the tools tool panel on the left here, and then I will be changing uh, the fill and the stroke to my properties panel on the right. So I'm just going to go ahead and start um, by moving this image off screen here. And so the white area is the canvas area that I'm going to want to create my composition in. And right now my shape tools are represented by the line segment tool. Now for a triangle, well I have two ways I can do this. I can be really detailed and make a bunch of skinny rectangles. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the fill color to black here. right? And I could stair step these very carefully to create a triangular pattern. And that might actually be a little bit more accurate to what's happening in the cloth. But I also want to go over how to simply make uh, a triangle shape in Illustrator. Because right, there's actually going to be a more efficient way to do the stair stepping effect with uh, the rectangles. So to access a triangle, I need to go to the polygon tool. And the polygon tool can have any number of sides. But to get to the number of sides that I want, I'm going to have to go ahead and just click once. And then I'm going to be able to choose the number of sides and its radius or its size. I'm just going to choose the size for right now as three because once I have that, I can go ahead and when it is selected, I can go ahead and change its size however I want to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab it and make it face downwards or point downwards. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by grabbing a corner point. And once I have this one shape, if I want to have the exact same shape again, I can simply go ahead and copy and paste it. And copy and paste is a good shortcut to know. And to figure out the shortcut for copy and paste, you can go to the edit drop down menu at the very top. And you can choose copy and paste here. You have to copy before you can paste. But you can also note the shortcut here. Uh, it is Command and C on a Mac or Control and C on a PC. And the Command button on the Mac is right next to uh, the space key. And the Control key on a PC, you will see because it says Control on it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose Edit and Paste. And then I get another triangle there, and then I can line it up with the first one. And since it's already copied, I just need to paste it. And I can line it up again, and paste, and line it up again, and paste, and line it up again. And now if I wanted to keep on going with this, I could of course start selecting multiple triangles and copy and pasting them. Copy and paste that. Okay, so now I have my first set, and I might want to make these just a little bit bigger so they line up with the edge of the canvas a little bit more nicely. Uh, so I might go ahead and delete this one, draw a box that selects all those triangles, and then simply drag these out just a little bit so that they hit the edge there. So now I have my first set of triangles, and I'm just going to go ahead and select all of the triangles again. And I'm going to go ahead and press Command and C to copy, and then Command and B to paste, and I'm going to get all of them copied. And what I can do once these are all copied is I can move them into place. And then I can also change their fill color by going to the Appearance panel over here in the Properties and changing the fill color. Okay, And then I can go ahead and paste again didn't see the paste that time, so I'm going to go ahead and reset these. I'm going to press Command and C to copy and then Command and B to paste. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep that red. 
Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just select two of these black triangles here. And I click one and then I hold shift to select multiple items. Then I'm going to copy and paste. Again, Command and C to copy, Command and V to paste. And then I'm going to Command and V to paste again and move these triangles down here. So I've now created a triangular pattern. And now I just need to fill in this other area with a third color. So I could fill in all of these with triangles, but I think this would be easier to simply change my shape tool to a rectangle tool draw a rectangle that is the size of the canvas, change the color to gold, and then that will be my background color. Of course, right now it is not in the background. To change the stacking order, I have two ways to go about this. The easiest way to go about it is to look on the right-hand side in the properties when it is selected, and you'll know it's selected because you see all the corner anchor points and you can click on the word arrange and then you can click send to back and then you will have the pattern in the back and you will have one potential kente cloth pattern.